Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Arav and you're watching Arav Tech. So in this video, I'm giving the full review for the Havoc OS 4.9 for the Mi at all. That means Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, Redmi Note 9S and Redmi Note 9 Pro. So without wasting our time, let's start the video. So as you can see, this is the currently new build of the Havoc OS I'm running on the Android 11. As you can see this security patch of 5 September it is a new build uh, and the kernel is version is lightning plus here is used and CNF status is enforcing build date is 29 means while that it has been made yesterday and here is the build number as I already told you Redmi Note 9 Pro Max according to the system you get a updater for this and I have not connected to internet that's why I can't check my update and let me start from the performance of this ROM I will improve it will the improved ROM from the pixel experience and the gaming and all the things are too good on this ROM let I start with the uh, DRM info and other things images if you want this wallpaper you can contact in my telegram group i will share the this wallpaper in my telegram group you can also join my official tech chat from there so guys this is the geekbench score used when i enabled gaming mode and here i got 543 of single core and 1683 of multi core score as you can see me at all that means both device here you get L3 security level of DRM because you have to first flash me Y and then other time you have to then flash the official firmware of that version which means you have to flash 12.0.1 R firmware then you have to install this Havoc OS and it is the first it is the uh, in a gaming mode enabled CPU thermal throttling test no CPU thermal throttling test detected while I am running the test and as you can see same happens here when I not applied the gaming mode as you can see this and this were the antitu scores of it 335,000 sorry 3,35,126 sorry and there is a battery drop of 2% in 2.4 degrees celsius in the temperature and it had the store the score that we get in this is because of the gaming mode and without gaming mode I got this score 3,35,573 and I am very very sorry due to my voice actually I am not well that's why I have to make the video that's why I came here to make the video and this is also gaming mode enabled and this is also but there is a difference between them and this CPU throttle does, I have not enabled any gaming mode and I have just run the CPU throttle and again also it got no CPU thermal throttling result. And uh, let me start from the ROM and if you test for the speed test, I will attach the screenshots of the speed test of the my internet in the last of the video. So you can see this. Here we go from the settings, Wi-Fi network, I am using the both GeoSense. Volti is working correctly, no issue with that. Wi Fi does work. Location when you install this ROM, you have to see that the ROM is currently using the location, so you have to first disable that hotspot. All the things were working and uh, connected device, yeah. Bluetooth sharing is a little bit slower, but if you turn on this TWS and neck bands, it works like a charm for the sound that we hear in our AWS apps and notification you have to enable the notification bubbles and everything that is present in any of the room you can adjust your notification sound according to the another apps as you can see this this is the display and brightness level you can increase dark theme you do get a choice to set a dark theme according to you like I select choco x so you get little bit more darker light 
live display color calibration you can enable color calibration picture adjustment how much adjustment it is a new thing for this room for this device i think i have tried the same version of 4.9 in uh, redmi note 10 which is mojito but there is no things present here screen timeout you can adjust your screen timeout font size normal anywhere present lock screen you can enable lock screen tap to wake prevented accidental wake up and if you tell me it doesn't work sometimes you have to click 3 to 4 times then it works sound you can adjust your sound vibration and haptics yeah haptics is too good on this room i will appreciate this and uh, charging sound these are the normal things volume steps you can enable okay privacy you can see what is your going with your data from here we will see location please turn off the location and only up allow the applications to use for necessary works not for all time location security you do get fingerprint face lock device admin apps don't active any admin apps i will tell you no no to add any of the location apps accounts i have used my accounts here accessibilities you do get dark theme options like i have enabled for you might have all power button and so all vibration and haptics you can uh, enable touch feedback higher sound amplifier wow sound amplifier is just a great thing to use it's like a butter to your sound mono audio you can adjust your audio system you do get update i have already told you to get an update and here's the so these are the my fully reviews for this and if you ask me for the battery i have flashed this home yesterday night at around 8 pm and at 8 pm i used for about 2 hours of my phone, for my phone and then i uh, kept my phone at somewhat 73% and today morning i used my phone for 2 hours and i got 71% till now from 73% so there is a minimal battery drop off i think 1% battery drop off from night to day you do get adaptive charging but i don't like to do adaptive charging battery health you do get battery health options many options where configuration centers you do get all the things status bar all the normal things were here quick settings all the normal things that present in the only have a os version that is here nothing very good things are present here charging info gestures ambient display always double tap always on display is not there but you do get uh, ambient display battery saving you got sleep mode media adaptive playback miscellaneous gaming mode is there i have already uh, added some gaming uh, i am not having any games but i have added to to an cpu thermal floating test about and it is a maintenance list so thanks for watching my videos please do like subscribe to my channel i know that all of you are viewing my videos but not subscribing it's my humble request to all you my friends to please do like subscribe to my channel till then bye bye and also join my telegram group for more info